Hey guys, what's up? It's Hex here. And what I have for you today is a little cow farm. And I also have sheep and uh, pigs in here. So it's an animal farm actually that can do cows, sheep, and pigs. And it can do chickens as well, but I'm just not including chickens because of something I'll tell you about in a little bit. But this is how it works. So all you have to do is you press this button right here. You feed your cows. You can see the low hearts start going. And this uses the entity cramming rule so that once you uh, start to, you can see them dying in there because the adults actually die before the babies do. So you just uh, you just feed this guy. You just feed him, feed him, feed him, feed him. You have to move back and forth a little bit sometimes. And then you start to see them dying in there. And then you press the button and then they stop jumping around. And then what you can do is you can press this timer right here. And this timer will actually last uh, exactly the amount that, or, or at least pretty close to the amount that it takes for them to be ready to breed again. So the nice thing about this farm is that not only can you, uh, is it really simple to build, but you can tell when it's time for the uh, for the cows to be ready to breed. And that's really nice because when I've built uh, farms in the past, I'd always have to come up to it. Is it time yet? Is it time yet? Start feeding them. Nope, they're not ready. And then come back and then so on. So it's really nice to know like, oh, the light's on. They can't breed. Very simple. Okay, so how does this thing work? Well, basically all it is is it uses the entity cramming rule. And so what, what that means is that once you get 24, I believe it's 24 um, animals or entities in the same place, then they start to die and uh, and stuff like that. And so as you can see, the adults actually die first and then the babies will die second because you can see all the baby cows in there. So it's really nice so that when you uh, once they start to die, you only get... Uh, adult cows dying and so you get the drops from them. Um, this also works with sheep so if you use uh, the hay on the sheep I'll show you that it works with the sheep too. Do, 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 do. And they breed away, same thing, same thing. So you could potentially make a, like a wool farm from this and have different colors of sheep in here or maybe different bays with different sheep in there. And it does work with pigs although you do have to modify the sort of trapping area here a little bit because they can go through. So with pigs you can see uh, just like that and we get are they breeding can I see the hearts yeah they're breeding it's a little harder to see because of this uh, this half slab right here but that has to be there and otherwise the little baby pigs will come out and that's not what we want okay very good so then once you breed out your stuff you press the button and the timer goes off okay so how does the timer work well the timer is very simple all it is is it's a dropper with a uh, pressure plate behind it and then that pressure plate has an entity on top of it. So you fill this dropper full of whatever junk entities you don't want. I just put some cobblestone in there. Uh, and then the entity, uh, so w when the entities disappear, it takes five minutes. And it also takes five minutes for animals, uh, at least the cows, sheep, and pigs, and I believe chickens, to uh, be ready to breed again. So uh, that's nice. So then once this entity disappears, the pressure plate comes up and the light turns off. All right, this thing is really easy to make. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so to start things off, we're going to put a line of white blocks. We're going to do it nine long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. doesn't have to be white blocks. Any any block will do. And then, or you could actually, this could be like your floor level. So you need, need nine wide to build this size of farm. Okay. And then the next thing that is always like, where do I put these things? Um, is uh, you're going to put a block there. Oops. You're going to put one block there and one block there and one block there, like that, okay? Then behind each one of those blocks, you are going to put a dispenser like this. One, two, and three, like that, okay? And then after that, what you're gonna do is you're going to put a chest. Actually, we need one more block right here, so we need a chest right here. So we're gonna break out that block and we're gonna put a chest in right there. And then next we need a line of hoppers going into that chest. So we're gonna come out one block, two, and then we're gonna go this way all the way until we get to just right there. Okay, take a look. Then this is where our animals are gonna sit. So our animals are actually gonna sit on top of each one of these hoppers. So that one and facing into that hopper. So it's gonna it's gonna fall and go this way. And the only reason you can't put the droppers like right underneath all the animals is because then the water buckets that we're gonna put in these dispensers will just get pulled right out and doesn't make any sense. So uh, then you gotta put one there and one there. Okay, so now when the animals die, the animals are gonna be sitting right here. When they die, they're gonna drop their items and it's gonna go this way, okay. Uh, next up, you're going to take out uh, some water buckets. You're going to need three buckets of water. 
And inside of each one of these dispensers, you're going to place a bucket of water. Like that. Okay. Next, uh, let's see. What I did is I put some glass behind each one of those just so that the guys can see out. But this is totally unnecessary. This is completely optional. So then uh, I'm going to put like two glass blocks behind there and two there and two there. That's just so I can turn around and see the little animals inside of there. But these can be solid blocks. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, then next um, I did some solid blocks here. Again, these don't matter what they are, whatever block you want to do. That. And then we're also going to need two blocks here, uh, at least like this on the end to keep those guys in. Okay, and then we're going to put blocks there, blocks there, and blocks there. Okay, so now we have the basics of our animal stalls. Next, we're going to go up one more block on top of all of that. Oops, I forgot that one. That, so it's that tall. Okay. okay. Then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, some sort of slab. And you need to put a slab right there. And then one above it like that. Okay. And then put on top of that a glass block like that. Okay. Then you're going to put a slab, a slab, and then a glass block. Now. Seriously, the time. It's becoming a constant issue. Okay, uh, then if you want to do pigs, then the, what you have to do is you have to put a fence post there and then a half slab there. Okay, so if you want to do pigs, then you have to do it that way. Okay, if you want to do cows or sheep, then this is fine, like that. Okay, if you want to do pigs, it has to be like this, because otherwise the little baby pigs can get right through this slot or the slot right here, actually. Um, I think they can jump out there. I think that's happened to me, too. Okay, and so then one block here. So I'm going to do pigs on this one just to show you the, the variant there. Okay, that's really the only difference. All right, then the last thing, I'm going to put blocks on top of all of this, like this, all the way around. Like that. And then once you get your animals in here, then you can put glass on top of there, or a trap door, or you can even leave it open. It doesn't really matter. Then to do the timer part of this thing, what you're going to do is you're going to take out a redstone lamp and you're going to need some pressure plates. So you're going to put a redstone lamp. You can put it right there. Okay. And then behind that lamp you and one block below, you're going to put a block there. And this block will be able to be seen, so make it a pretty one. And then a pressure plate on top of that. Then on top of the lamp, you're going to put a dropper see what don't I need I don't think I need those anymore okay you're gonna place a dropper like that and then you will put whatever uh, items that you don't want in there like a bunch of stone or whatever okay. you can fill the whole thing up it doesn't matter okay and then after that you're just going to surround this with some blocks like that okay so then when you uh, have this going out then uh, then um, when, when the dropper fires then it's gonna fire a an entity on top of that and it's going to make the light go on but you want blocks all the way around because of what you just saw right there how the entity comes off okay so then blocks all the way around it sometimes uh it's optional but you could put like a glass block here just to, so that you can see if there's like anything going on inside of that little chamber um that you might need to take care of i don't see why anything would happen but let's just say that, that something got in there somehow you can check that out okay then that is the farm done. If you want to, you can put a uh, like a floor right here. Now this can be your floor, like this. So what I did in the design over there is I just put uh, I think I put three blocks out as a floor, like that to stand in front of. Okay. The last thing you need to do is put a button right there. It can be stone or wood, there and there, and that will fire these droppers. And then when you press that, you should be able to see the water come in like that. Okay. Now. To get your animals in, there's a couple of different options. Number one, um, if you built this and you can't access the top for some reason, what you could do is you could, uh, let me get a cow or a pig or something. Uh, I think I put some in here. Here, a sheep. We'll just use a sheep. That's fine. Oh, there's our cow. I like cows. We're going to do a cow. All right, so let's say that I want this cow in here. So what I could do is I could break those two blocks out and have my slabs ready. And let's say that I had my cow and he was ready to go. Okay, so then what I could do is I could just push him in here like this, push him in here like this, and then put the blocks in the front. 
that. Mm. Okay. And then when you get your another cow in, you can just push him in also uh, near that cow. Now this this way is a little bit tricky because if that other cow decides to walk out, then you have you know a catastrophe, and that's no good. Hey, get in there. Let's redo that. No, no. No. Okay, so if you want to get your animals in, there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, the first way that you can use is if you can't access the top or you don't want to go all the way to the top, then you can break out this glass block and think this one here, that one there, and then you might have to break this one as well. Okay, and then what you do is you can make like a little ladder up here. So you can go like this. And then let's say that you have your cow, and I'm going to extend the floor just a little bit so Mr. Cow has somewhere to go. There we go. And then you have a cow, and then all you have to do is just kind of, you know, do this whole push him up the stairs kind of thing. has to be either stairs or slabs, otherwise he won't push up. And then you just sort of push him in, and there you go. So that's the way you can get your first two in there. Whoopsie. And then start breeding them, and then uh, you can do it that way. That's, I think that's kind of the simplest. Oh, he just walked right in. Thank you, Mr. Cow. How easy that was for the tutorial. Thank you. Uh, they probably won't do that when <laughs> you want to build it, but uh, that would be the ideal way to go. Okay, and then once you get them in there, then you can replace your glass block uh, here. Oops, your glass block there, your solid block there, and then another glass block or whatever solid block on top like that, okay? And then they can just be in there like that. And then and then you breed them, and then once they hit 24, mm. that's when they'll start dying. Okay, the other way to do it is you could build a, uh, a similar ladder all the way to the top. And then uh, so you could have your cow up here. So you, once you get them up here, you want to build like a too high little thing like this. And then let's say that we have a cow right there. Mm. Okay, so the reason you want it to be too high is because then you can sort of push him just into this corner. You can push him into this corner if he cooperates. There we go. And just push him in the corner and then he'll fall in there. Okay, so that, that's the other way to do it. All right. That would work with pretty much pretty much any any animal would be fine to do it. Either, either of those two ways. Okay, well this has been Hex. I hope you like this little farm. I hope it works well for you. Um, I use this in my survival worlds just because it's simple to build and um, I also know when to go ahead and breed them. So this is my favorite cow farm and I really really hope that you uh, try this one out and see how it works for you. Okay, thanks a lot. God bless.